With open source tools it is possible to transfer the content of a hard disk to another disk and make an exact copy of it. This is useful for example to move the whole Windows installation to an faster disk, or an disk with a different size. When using the disk dump command, it does not matter which operating system is cloned. I have tested the cloning process with different Windows versions up to Windows 11 and with Linux and it will work pretty sure also in future versions. Current information, details about the process and background informations are mentioned on my website, libe.net. I installed Windows 11 in a virtual machine for this demo and attached an additional hard disk, which can be seen in disk management having a size of 40 GB. The source hard disk is about 130 GB in size and therefore bigger than the target drive. The important thing here is that the C drive of the source disk is smaller than the target drive. Shrink volume in disk management can prepare the source drive to fit into the size of the target drive. Windows 11 has a recovery partition which is not taken over during our cloning process. For the actual cloning process I put a bootable Linux CD, here Clonezilla into the computer. Next I restart the computer. To boot from the bootable media, maybe secure boot needs to be disabled in BIOS. After booting I accept the language and keyboard settings and start with enter shell into the shell. First of all I use the command sudo fdisk-l to display informations about the hard disks. As you can see in the output our 40GB target hard disk is labeled SDB and the source hard disk SDA. To clone SDA to SDB I add the command sudo ddif equals dev SDA which is our source disk, of equals dev SDB, our target disk. BS equals 100M speeds up the process and status equals progress displays the status while cloning the disk. Attention, pressing the enter key starts the cloning process and irrevocably overwrites the target hard disk. Since the target disk is smaller, the error, no space left on device, is issued. Don't worry, in our case it doesn't matter. Our clone process has finished. To restart the PC I press Ctrl Alt Delete. Before the computer starts, it should be turned off and the source hard disk should be removed while the target disk left attached. When switching on, the computer starts from our clone target hard disk. After the boot process I take a look at the disk management, this shows me the wrong hard disk size. Also, the recovery partition is displayed even though it is outside the disk size. To help out a bit here, I start the command prompt and in at the command line tool disk part. I list the disks and select disk 0 in my case, then I list all partitions and select the recovery partition which is partition 4. The final command delete partition override deletes the selected recovery partition and corrects the disk size. As a last step we can extend the C partition by the free space, either via disk management, or disk part by selecting partition 3 and a subsequent extend. I wish you good luck with cloning your hard disks and hope to help you with my video. You can find more information and all necessary commands on my website libe.net. Thanks, leave me a thumbs up, and subscribe to this channel for more.